started our journey of PBL in a very excited way. We guys were fascinated in field of space and we were united together as a best of combination. We started discussing on what to do in this field. We were discussing about many ideas like designing a cost efficient space suit, pico satellites and many many more stuff. While speaking with the staff members and seniors, we finalized our field. We are going to make a pico satellite. There are lots of subcategories of satellites divided based on their size like pico satellites, nano satellites, femto satellites and many more. Discussing about the problem statement, we came up with air quality and weather as our parameters. We had two main reasons for choosing air pollution as a main problem statement. Every year, more than 7 million people died all over the world due to air pollution. Data from WHO shows that 9 out of 10 people are breathe polluted air. We came up with an idea to detect temperature, pressure, altitude and smoke to, to check the atmospheric quality in our college as a trial. We wanted to construct a prototype to achieve all of these parameters. We approached the problem by conducting literature surveys, acquiring ideas on our existing satellites, learning basics of Arduino and ESP32 modules. We also did initial design ideation by sketching out our ideas. We checked for the availability of the sensors for measuring air quality. We learned the basics of orbital mechanics as well. Due to the pandemic, we are not able to bring all our five together. Do not worry, however, we have got them virtually. We used three major sensors, BMP-280, MQ-131 and MQ-135. First, BMP-280. It is the temperature sensor we used. It also detects pressure and altitude. With this data, we can also interpret the humidity in the region. It has wider detecting range and also extremely low power consuming sensor. And we used MQ-131 in our project. It is the smoke detecting sensor we can detect the smoke in our surroundings. We can also detect smog in our area. Next we have MQ-135 sensor. By using MQ-135 sensor we can detect the air quality in our area. It can give the air quality as a collective data or also as a single individual data such as carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide etc. Individual gases data can also be interpreted by using this sensor. We used ThinkSpeak cloud-based platform for getting our data. So what's next for our project? For the hardware part, we have planned to optimize the batteries. So we are planning to implement sleep mode in our satellites. And we are also planning uh, to study the communication of satellites from space and reliability of uh, sensors used in space. And what about the designing part? Well, that is interesting because unfortunately we could not print our satellite. So indeed, we want to print our satellite. That will be next. But before we can print our satellite, we have to analyze the structure. And to analyze the structure, we'll have to learn structural analysis softwares. So that will be next for us. We have consumed more than 250 hours to develop a prototype. It seems like a very long way. Indeed, it has been a very long way. And we have a long journey ahead.